Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to the Forex Bow Trade Academy. Victor with you here and today we have an idea for the pound versus Australian dollar which seems to be going down and will continue to do so. Before we start I would like to remind you that all the information in this video is just for educational purpose and should not be considered as a financial advice. So jumping back to previous ideas, the oldest Australian Japanese yen. Now because we Looking at the pound versus Australian dollar short, which is actually a very, very short time frame, it shouldn't last long. I think it, the target there can be reached within 24 hours. So here we might experience a stronger correction to the upside. So for this reason, it is safer to place the stop loss at the break even, just minimize the risk. So it could be a good idea, but at the same time, it seems like it, it is a pound that is weak. So here we might not see any action. In fact, it might continue going down. Still a valid idea and best to put the stop loss at the break even. Euro pound, we expecting the move today quite a bit because it's a pound that will be getting very weak. So here should be a strong trend, still valid uh, trade on the euro pound. Gold, valid trade as well, expecting target to be reached. So, but corrections obviously possible. Now, if, if one price moves over half the way up to the target, we might fix half of the profit and put stop loss at break even. Pounds with franc, this is what I expected. Either price to move from this point or correct up and then go down. This is exactly what happened. And now we see this move starting to develop. And today we have pound versus Australian dollar. Now what, what is happening, guys, is that we have this formed resistance area, very strong resistance area at 83.30 and a very strong support area at 80.50. And we also had this rejection of the 200 exponential moving average. Price rejected it, then you can see that it failed to break and close above it. So it was a corrective wave. And after this rejection, now we see another rejection here and price is starting to move down once again. Besides, there is a bearish divergence suggesting that the price will be moving down. So the target here is this area, preferably 8050 right in the middle. And it corresponds to 261.8 FIPS applied to this corrective wave to the upside. And we see that the target is between 80.55 and 80.45. So golden middle could be 80.50 as a profit target. In regards to the entry point, the entry point, the perfect would be 82.50. Between this zone should be quite fine. So this is the entry area but we can make it like that because price still can correct up and attempt to produce spike higher right there so this is the entry area for the shorting we are in the at the bottom of this area and expecting this move to the downside in regards to the stop loss it obviously must be above this resistance zone and to me two to one risk reward ratio the stop loss should be at 83 50 55 and that should be perfect. So I expect this very fast downtrend on the pound Australian dollar. And then we can look back at the Australian versus Japanese yen, what is happening and how far it pulled back. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Smash the like, subscribe, comment, ask questions. We're here to learn and study together. So take care and profits to everyone. See you very soon.